So to get a little bit better view in that, uh, one thing I want to show you is going to be what a customer would see if they were to log in from the customer support portal. So as you saw when uh, we created, you know, when I first went through some of our objectives, um, NetSuite does have the customer, uh, basically the customer portal available to you. Now, as a quick clarification, uh, what I want to show, what I'm showing to you right now is the basic uh, customer center. And this is available to add on to any customer that I have active within NetSuite just by going onto the customer record and giving them access to the customer center. So from this, there's some really key things that I can do from a customer point of view that, that uh, you know, we've heard from our customer base that, that they really enjoy. So I can go in and, you know, one of the key things that they can do is go in and make a payment. So if I click on make a payment, um, it's going to give me the ability to go through and understand what invoices I would pay. And I can enter in that payment and make a payment using a PCI compliant database. Um, I can go through as a customer and also understand what my statement looks like or see my full AR register and see all of the different transactions that I've got available. Additionally, as a customer from my customer portal, I can go through and enter an order or see different orders that I've placed. So if I wanted to get the status of an existing order without having to pick up the phone, I can come through and understand exactly uh, where my orders are. So here you can see I've got an order that's pending fulfillment. I've got a few orders that have been billed, um, and I can understand what might be pending billing. And I can do that without, uh, you know, without having to do anything besides log into a website. Now, one thing that is, uh, you know, worth clarifying is this is the customer center. This is going to be a little bit different than uh, some of the advanced options that NetSuite has for uh, online order entry, specifically uh, Sweet Commerce Advanced and the new offering of Sweet Commerce Standard. Um, those are a couple different uh, things that you can have. And what I'm showing you here is just the base customer center that's available to you free. So customers can provide uh, basically self-support 365. Um, and where I'd like to tie this into what you've seen before is uh, jumping in and understanding how I can contact support um, and use either support cases or support issues um, from doing that. So if I want to contact support, I can come in and basically provide a new customer uh, customer case very easily. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do a product return because while we're looking at some software examples here, a real common thing that we'd be looking at is trying to get an RMA or a customer return out to my customer. And from that, I can go through and just fill out some real basic information and submit a case that then is going to be able to be monitored from my customer support center. And I can see all of my support cases that I have available to me. So here you can see if I go through and after I've submitted that, um, I've got uh, my cases that I've put in, and here you can see I've got my product return that I have have requested. And then if that was to come back from, uh, from the organization uh, and my support ref had provided me any additional information on that, um, I'd be able to see any of the messages that come back, um, as well as being able to be linked to support cases uh, you know, or frequently asked questions that my customers uh, that I can provide uh, to my customers so they can see that all online. So now we've seen a little bit around marketing campaigns. Uh, we've been able to see a little bit about uh, Salesforce automation, the customer portal where I can log in and see different, uh, you know, different transactions that I have pending as well as make payments and log cases.